So it's uh, 29th of April 2009 today and uh, I've been doing a bit of experimentation regarding um, <coughs> um, the, the kitchen garden. I think I'm a little late but uh, I don't know very much about gardening as such so um, I'm doing some experimentation. We've done a small garden here which is uh, uh, here in front of the house um, and it's, um, it's a quite nice little garden. Uh, in, and it's growing. Um, uh, it was put up approximately two weeks ago and things are starting to come up now. Um, it's obviously tiny compared to the seven and a half hectares of land that is available. Um, here are some bushes that are standing waiting to be planted. They should have been planted a long time ago. The new trees are thriving quite well. Uh, they are... Um, it looks as if, as if they're actually feeling quite good here. So, um, yeah, things are happening as such. Rhubarbs have been planted here in this small patch here, uh, together with um, melons and uh, some other things. I can't really remember, but um, we'll see what happens. Happens, something comes up. It's unfortunately not very serious to this year because I, I don't have the time and I'm alone right now to, to do all these things. So um, while the water is popping down here, I'm thinking what to do. And um, over here, this is the, uh, the patch, which is sort of the kitchen garden. Um, and what has happened is that there's a pump that's been installed here. It sucks water up. Apparently, water continues to run because the pump is not on now. And um, what you see here is, is uh, what I've been working with today is uh, trying to make a sort of canal system, um, a natural canal system, so that uh, you can actually just put the, uh, the, 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 the pump on or just leave it because apparently you don't need, there's no electricity on the pump right now but what you can see here is because of gravity um, the water is still coming out so uh, this is um, <laughs> it's free pumping it's um, quite interesting <laughs> because it means you don't need to use any electricity to pump really you can just leave this on so so, um, so what you see here is a, are these uh, canals that I've been trying to do now, um, if anybody knows anything about this, I'd be very happy to uh, to know more about it. Obviously, I can do this because the uh, terrain here is is um, is uh, declining. So, um, as you can see, it goes downhill. Uh, <coughs> but I suppose there might be others. Well, and also because obviously because I've got loads of water, um, which is available all year round, because it's a water mill here. So. Um, but, but what's quite interesting is these small canals that, and they've literally formed themselves as such. I've tried to, to just sort of allow the landscape to, to um, or sorry, the water to do what it wants to do, which if you for example see here where it's sort of going a little bonkers and apparently there's probably a rabbit hole or something like that um, here because the water runs in there. But um, the intention is, and I'm, I'm still not sure, is to actually leave this as it is now, as a sort of that natural landscape, and plant. Um, and I, I've started over in that corner with some rhubarb and some other, and some melons and some flowers and some things and that's supposed to be good for each other. <coughs> I've left some, some mint here in the middle of the whole thing um, because I thought that that would be nice and some strawberries. Uh, from the from the former uh, kitchen garden, um, but um, well, as always in life, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, and I'm sort of trying to do it on intuition, um, and I'm also very lazy, so I'm trying to do as little as possible. Um, so if any if anyone out there that sees this video has any idea about how to do these sort of uh, automatic uh, watering systems so that lazy people like me don't have to run out and water but actually can just do what it does here take water from the river now that I have a river 
uh, and um, just let water flow all the time. I'd be more than happy to, to hear your ideas or comments. What my big doubt really is, is whether, um, whether I personally can manage this. It's pretty, uh, it's quite beautiful, but it's also very disorganized. <laughs> And um, knowing myself, uh, it might end up being pretty chaotic. Um, so maybe I'm going to end up with the square batches. Uh, also because the squares sort of put into the landscape here can be quite beautiful. But the whole idea is to get the water somehow integrated. Uh, and that can obviously be done also in, in different ways. Um, but I'm very curious if somebody has ideas on how to run a super efficient garden. I also have another little problem here, and that is that, that there are um, there are animals. So there are racondons. I'm actually not sure what they're called. It's a kind of beaver uh, which lives here, which loves vegetables, and um, it will probably come and attack this garden, which obviously is not really the the idea. So um, again. Yeah, uh, and there's also deers, and there is there are there are there are pigs, wild boars, uh, and there is a lot of other interesting animals around. So uh, there's another basically, you know, there's at least seven hectares and something else left that they can thrive on. So this uh, 100 square meters here, which is approximately what the kitchen garden is right now, I'd obviously prefer to have for myself uh, and for my guests coming here. Um, so, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to come and ideas. There's another new little tree there, and there's another one there. You can hardly see them because <laughs> everything takes over. And uh, unfortunately, we probably have to do something about the wilderness because uh, I'm not sure my neighbors will appreciate that things continue to be so wild as it is, even though I think it's absolutely stunning. And uh, now I will go and pick some nettles for my... Today I'm going to have nettle omelette um, with smoked uh, herring and uh, in an omelette sort of kind of style. Uh, so, um, yeah. Roger, over.